Last season, I visited some of the biggest derbies in the world with Copper 90. This season, I want to get off the beaten track. I want to get to know some of the less high profile footballing cities with rivalries that explode on match day. A quick YouTube search will show you a world of big men, fanatical support and incredible displays of passion. It's these communities that I want to get to know. And I'm starting here in Budapest for the Oipest vs Fernsfaus starting. Here with Gary, we've just touched down in Budapest. Gary, uh, there's more than just two clubs in Budapest. What made this a rivalry between the two sides? Because it was always that way. Yeah. That, that, that would be the best answer. Both teams are decided on Danube. Wipex is right up in the north. Ferenc Varos is right in the south. Okay. So it's not close geographical proximity and it's not a class, th a class thing as well. This rivalry, it's just a pure hatred, a big fight between the biggest and the su most successful teams in Hungary. Hungary became a communist state a few years after the Second World War. And then each club basically, let's say, got assigned to different governmental organization. Uipest became a part of uh, the interior ministry, it became the police team. Ferencvaros was, let's say, considered an opposition team. So that, that heated up the rivalry a bit. How do Uipest fans feel about Ferencvaros? I respect Ferencvaros for being a very successful club. It's uh, the most supported club in Hungary. But I fucking hate them. <laughs> <laughs> we care if, if we, we're bad in the championship. Sure. But we have two derby wins in a season. That's, that's like a cup win. It's better than any game in Hungary and it's better than a lot of big games sure. throughout Europe or throughout the world because of the supporters. What does Ferenc Varos mean to you? What does Ferenc Varos mean to you? Uh, számomra Ferencváros azt jelenti az életet. Én, én bent nőttem föl a stadionban, úgy mondhatnám. Tehát uh, én bent szurkoltam, az ultráknál kezdtem, és uh, a végén leragadtam a huligánoknál, de mondhatnám azt, hogy nem is huligánok, hanem, hanem mindenki uh, barátok vagyunk, tehát ugye egymásért küzdünk, egymásért harcolunk utcán, bent a pályán. What makes Ferencváros unique? Uh, what do they stand for? A három, a három elbetű az a Ferencváros címérben az erkölcs, Erő, egyetértés. Tehát, hogy így tud a klub előre haladni. Tehát minél erősebbek vagyunk, minél egyet, egyetértőbbek vagyunk, annál nagyobb eredményeket tudunk elérni mind a pályán, mind az utcán. Now, whilst our focus on the Budapest derby, like all derbies, is on the fans and their incredible contribution to Derby Day match day, we also want to see how this in turn affects the players and management's preparation for what is essentially the biggest game of the season. i tell you what, they say Hungarian football isn't at its best at the moment, but from what we can see, there is some proper quality here. And from what we're hearing from the managers, the upcoming match on the weekend is not just a regular one. For my first derby, they, the fans come to me and they said, you can lose 10 games in a row. It's not important if you win against Ferenc Varsh. We is not just a club, it's a way of life for them. It's always difficult for me because I have to keep the concentration of the players on the previous games and yeah. it's very, very difficult. It's an important game for every player, for, for the club and also the fans. This is the biggest game in the, in the season, so now we have to win. In derbies, it's not important who is in better, for, better form or who have the better result before. Even let's say Ferenc Varos is leading the, the division and Uipest is last, you can't say that, oh, Ferenc Varos will win for sure, because it's, it's like, it's the derby, it's like it's, it motivates the players. That atmosphere, the, it's a great motivation for the players, for everyone. They give more than 100% in these games. It's, it's great energy, you cannot, uh, only if you are part of that, you can feel. 
One of the best things about training sessions for teams in the smaller leagues, like here in Hungary, is that training sessions are often open to the public. So you get all sorts watching from the old boys to the ultras who we've just spoken to and who have said they might be able to get us in to watch them prepare their choreography for Sunday's game. Basically in the clubhouse of the ultras and then for the first time in in our series that I can remember have given us their time. They've given us a couple of guys to speak to. They've all come out, welcomed us. This is our, this is the all always going on about that family, that unity. You can really feel it, everyone's coming together. What does Budapest mean to you? Számunkra nagyon egyszerű mindent. Itt születtünk, itt nőttünk föl, itt vannak a barátaink, ez a mi otthonunk. Itt is fogunk meghalni, nagyjából egy. Why is this the biggest derby, Újpest and Ferencváros? Azért, mert ez a két legsikeresebb klub, és ennek a két klubnak van a legtöbb szurkolója, és ez már a 70-es évektől így van. Mi már ebben nőttünk fel. A szüleink is ugyanúgy gyepálták egymást, mint mi. Itt két csapatról szól egész Budapest, Újpest meg Ferencváros. What type of choreography do you usually display on a derby? Minden ilyen nagyobb mérkőzésre készítünk koreográfiát, most egy 60x17 méteres nagy élőképpel fogunk készülni. Persze pirotechnikát is fogunk használni, minden komoly meccs használunk pirotechnikát. Eddig nagyon nagy munka van mögötte, akár egy hónap előtte neki állunk. Ezt a klub nem finanszírozza, ezt saját erőnkből alkotjuk meg mindig, saját szabadidő és anyagi tekintetben is. That was, uh, that was something else. I'm... It started off intimidating, but by the end of it, I mean, I felt like I was at home. They were so welcoming, and I, it's quite validating to see that because I feel like finally Derby Days is slowly starting to uh, make its message that we're part of the fans, and I appreciate that. I mean, he told me that that's the first time they've ever granted any access to any media, so I really think we're getting our message across that this series, these episodes, are about them, the fans. Now I just can't wait to see what they contribute tomorrow. <laughs>
to be Ferns Varosh and what does it mean to be an ultra of Ferns Varosh? What, what does it give you? Igazából ezt nem lehet szerintem szavakba önteni, ezt benne kell lenni és érezni kell, tehát ezt meg kell élni, hát ez az életünk tömörem. Tehát igaz, ez fölösleges tovább fokozni, erről szól az életünk. Mi, ez minden. And so, the reason we're here, the Budapest Derby, it's about to kick off in 20 minutes and this whole northern district of Budapest, with the exception of the blue, white and red of the police, has been taken over by the purple and white of Uypest. The vibe is incredible and whilst Ferenc Varos have boycotted this game because of issues with security, Uypest have certainly turned up. We're in for one of the best derbies Copper 90 seen. Well, that's it for our time here in Budapest. From getting in with both sets of ultras groups to seeing that match up close and personal, it really has been a unique footballing experience. The contribution the ultras made towards this derby match day was absolutely phenomenal. From their pyro to their tifos to their capo, it really showed just how important uh, their presence is to Hungarian football. At times, the support did tip over into something more questionable and arguably over aggressive. Perhaps a reason for this is a subject that has come up a lot while speaking to people here in Budapest. It seems that for various reasons, Hungary as a country is suffering something of an identity crisis and you can understand then that people would turn to their football clubs and in turn supporter groups to give them a sense of belonging. 
And it's those football clubs that gave us one hell of a spectacle on the pitch yesterday. I mean, what a game it was. Two penalties, an incredible winner, and a level of football that I really wasn't anticipating here in Hungary. It didn't win them a title, it didn't even take them to first or second, but standing in that arena, you could see it meant everything to them. And at the end of the day, that's all a derby's really about. If you want to see more football stories from around the world that you may not be expecting, you know what you've got to do. Subscribe to Copper 90 where the game never stops.